Hey YouTube. I hope everyone is staying safe and being productive while we're in our corona quarantine. One of the things I've been doing while I've been staying at home being safe is I, I've always wanted a really nice set of aircraft gauges to go with Visual Studio. So I actually took the time and sat down and created them from some work that was done by Guillaume Choteau. And Guillaume, I hope if you hear that I didn't get your name too wrong. And here's the work that I did. These are user controls for Visual Studio. They're written in C Sharp. So to put a control on the screen, all we have to do is click on View. We'll go to our toolbox. I have them down here under Custom Controls. And from the Custom Controls, we can just drag them onto the screen. So for example, if I want another airspeed indicator, I just drag it onto my form. It automatically appears. And we can resize it. Just like that. There we go. We have a second airspeed indicator. Don't really want that for the sake of this demo. And they're very easy to send data to. So let's take a look at the code that's in back of all of this. As you can see, I have a simple for loop. So I'm saying for A equals 1 to 500. It's just counting. I don't have any sensors. Obviously, I don't have a real aircraft attached to this. And all we do to send the controls data is we call out the object. So for example, artificial horizon 1 dot pitch angle equals and whatever value I want to send. So I do the same thing with a roll angle. And when I want to update the display, I call out artificial horizon dot update. And poof, the thing magically rolls and tilts just like it would in a real aircraft. I do the same thing for all of my various controls. So I have the artificial horizon, my heading indicator, my altimeter, vertical speed indicator, turn coordinator, and finally airspeed indicator. Okay. So you're saying, great, but let's make it go. So we'll go back to the design screen. We'll press start to activate the program. And we'll say start data feed. And all this is doing is activating that for A equals 1 to 500 counting loop. And magically our gauges come alive. So I hope you guys found this uh, interesting. I hope you'll find it useful. By all means, if you would like to use these controls, I've posted them under the uh, Crosby Hall website under the Technologies tab. Go down to Visual Studio and IoT. And you can download the full uh, project as a zip file and then go in and modify them however you choose. So I hope you will find this useful and stay safe. Bye.